You would think that the walking flatline encephalograms of Bethesda and Zenimax thereby would probably pull the fucking brakes and start trying to think rationally again and attempt to fix their public image after the shit show that was released of Fallout 76 in what seems like every single action they've done since its release. From the buggy, shit-riddled mess of the game's open beta one week before release, which did little to improve the game's quality and performance, and might as well have been an over-glorified early access, to the insulting response to the garbage bags they shipped with the game's collector's edition, which they, in their infinite wisdom, decided to refund gar customers with 500 atoms, the game's in-game premium currency, which ironically isn't even enough to get the game's equivalent to the actual fucking bag they were promised, also, lest we forget this gem, the fact that there is a black market revolving around duplicated items in this game. Yes, you heard me right. Players that have been exploiting Fallout 76's buggy netcode to create duplicates of items, of which such tactics involve, but not limited to, literally sending so many requests to the server that it results in bringing down the server. To say that this game is fucked up is a gross understatement. But it seems that, much like I learned in Gamergate, the ride never fucking ends. Lo and behold, the epitome of Bethesda's ineptitude. The Fallout 76 Vault 76 Premium Jacket. No, this isn't a joke. This isn't The Onion. This is an honest to god actual jacket whose leather looks more like a fucking pull tarp. And to top it all off, <laughs> it costs $276. That's a week's paycheck you're wanting me to fork over for a product that looks like shit and is overpriced as all hell, in celebration of what has to be one of Bethesda's worst products to date. And from the looks of it, the public didn't take too kindly to this either. I don't blame them. After the shitty launch in a tote bag that would be better off in a dumpster fire than affixed to my shoulder, Bethesda has effectively lost every ounce of good reputation they have attained over the years from their fans and customers. As someone who was, and still is looking forward to Starfield, I have strong reservations of the game's outcome, and if the game will be as bad as Fallout 76 was. Furthermore, I've been a fan of Bethesda's games for a while, namely Fallout and Elder Scrolls. This really makes me concerned about the future of the company and its intellectual properties. We probably won't see another Fallout game until sometime around 2025, if ever, and the outlook on their other games is strongly negative, and not without use of the Kaza. Combined the creation engines, maintenance and upkeep being created as well as the Oceano's final maintenance was, check this out if you don't know what I'm on about, as well as the blind as a bat public relations tactics from Bethesda did not address many of the technical problems of the game until the new year had been fast approaching and the blindsided by a semi, oh, this is an MMO actually, announcement back at E3 2018, and you have, quite literally, the worst public relations disaster in human history. Sure, it's not as bad as United Airlines, in proportions at least, but fuck me! The fact that one company was so much oversight that one person did not stop for a fucking second and think and tell everyone else in that fucking funny farm in Maryland that maybe, just maybe, we should stop what we're doing in this train wreck of a company, assess what we're doing wrong to our consumers and investors, and actually do something resembling rational, sensible business practices. It says a lot when I, a person who has only a high school degree, could effectively run Bethesda far better than the people who are actually there, who have doctorates and masters in business administration. This whole situation is fucked, and I hope those poor bastards of Bethesda get some help, because it seems to me that they've lost such reality. Their games are buggy messes that run on a jury-rigged version of Netimmerse using code from ages ago that it'd be better, much to the chagrin of people who kick and scream that Bethesda should just use someone else's engine, to stop, take a fucking step back, and have someone audit their engine's code and point out what parts need to be fixed. Their public relations and marketing teams, also, are trying to promote a game whose appeal is equivalent to watching someone fuck a rotting corpse. Again, I have to comment, at least for this. If you do like this game, good for you. Not many people do, and the fact that you can find pleasure in it is endearing to me. At least someone out there likes this game. But what I'm getting at here is Bethesda is clearly out of touch with the situation at hand. They've alienated a large majority of their fan base and are out there with Soldier Boy and levels of incompetence at, at this point. For the sake of the Fallout franchise, for Elder Scrolls, and for those of us faithful for Starfield, we must pressure Bethesda to stop, take a step back, and fix both Fallout 76 and the way they approach their customers.
because this kind of behavior is not sustainable. 